the day guys it's your boy Troy so today I'm doing a vehicle review over a 2020 Jeep Gladiator now if you've been waiting on the truck version of the Jeep Wrangler it's finally arrived all Jeep Gladiators are four-wheel drive have four doors and a soft top convertible just like the Jeep Wranglers this one also has a hard top convertible so the Jeep Gladiator comes with a 3.6 liter V6 producing 285 horsepower, 260 foot pounds of torque. They all come with that motor. There's two options when it comes to your transmission. One is eight speed automatic, which is what this one has. And a six speed manual is your other version. Now next year, they're supposed to come out with a diesel version. So stay tuned for that one. The Jeep Gladiator comes in three price options. So you have this one, which is your base model, starts off around $35,000. Then you have your Jeep Overland, which is a Gladiator, starts off $42,000. Then you have your Jeep Gladiator Rubicon, which starts off at $45,000. Now we'll talk about the front of the Jeep Gladiator. So the Jeep Gladiator has your standard headlights, fog lights, and your grill, which looks just a lot similar to your Jeep Wrangler. The only difference is the slots on the grill are bigger, and in the headlights, they have the little Jeep emblem on the inside, which is probably one of the coolest things I think about the Jeep Wrangler, the Jeep Gladiator. Then to open the hood, it's pretty easy. Two little latches. One little and then it reveals the 3.6 liter V6 motor producing 285 foot-pounds of torque. Now let's talk about the wheels on the Jeep Gladiator. This Gladiator comes with 24575 R17 tires with 17 inch aluminum wheels and every Jeep even has its own signature Jeep on the wheels. Looks like your old Willys Jeep. On the bed of the Jeep Gladiator it's your standard five foot bed fits 95% of motorcycles in the bed. You have a backup camera, you have your rear brake light, third brake light, in your tailgate itself, because you can take the top off. So they didn't want to put the third brake light up there so that you would always have a third brake light. They put it here, pass all the regulations and laws. The hard top on this Jeep Gladiator is pretty neat. So on the back side, it comes off. It even has a rear defroster in the back window, an, an electric back window. It all unplugs. You can take this whole back panel off with a couple screws and bolts that hold it in, but you can take it off. You can take all the doors off. And the top that covers the front seats, that has just two latches and the whole top will come off. Now we're going to take this Jeep Gladiator for a little ride. Always make sure to wear your seatbelt. Safety is always first. The backup camera on this actually looks pretty darn great. The gauge cluster on this is pretty darn good. It shows all sorts of options. You know, your gauge cluster itself has your speedometer on your right and your RPMs on the left with your little display that says if you're in too high, four high, neutral, or four low. On the center you have a small little screen that you have your engine temperature on the left and your gas on the right, your gas fuel gauge. In the center of those two things you have your miles and then your what gear you're in. Then if you scroll through the settings you have your radio. This car will send you messages if anything is going wrong with the car. It displays your miles per hour. It displays your tire pressures for all four wheels, your coolant temperature, your trans temperature, your oil temperature, oil pressure, along with your oil life. So you always know when to change your oil. Even displays your battery voltage. Another cool thing is it has your 
a little display for when you're in off-road mode which wheels are activated so if your front wheels are activated or your wheel wheels are activated then you have a little display for your fuel range miles per gallon what you're averaging and then you have your trip info how many miles you drove how many miles per gallon so far driving this it doesn't feel like your traditional Jeep where it's hard it's uncomfortable I rode in some Jeep Wranglers where your suspension is really stiff where, where this one is not really stiff feels quite incredible feels like I'm driving a normal SUV the steering on this is pretty great it brakes really well it's not touchy you hear no road noise at all all I hear is wind outside and that's even with these removable tops you would think that you would probably hear a little bit of wind noise or a little bit of road noise because of the tops but they just seal so good that you can't hear anything for this having a 3.6 liter v6 it does accelerate really good the Jeep gladiators do come with your auto start stop so if you come to a stoplight and you press the brake it automatically shuts off after five seconds as soon as you release the brake it'll start back up it's pretty much for fuel economy saves you a little bit more gas it is a little bit more wear on your starter your starter will go out faster if you do a lot of daily driving so where some vehicles your starter will last till 80,000 miles to 100,000 miles the Jeep Gladiator will last probably 60 to 80,000 miles before you'll have to replace it the interior of this is probably one of the coolest things when it comes to the Jeep Gladiator the black everything is black and then you have these brown cloth seats which are heated seats also now I would like to give a special thanks to Tri-State Ford and Maryville for letting me use this Jeep Gladiator. This particular Jeep Gladiator is for sale also, so if you're interested in it, just check them out. I'll put a link in the description below just in case you're interested in it and in case they still have it. All you have to do is click the link, go to their website. They have this beautiful red and then they have a beautiful white. They're both sport models. so. They have all your options that you would want when it comes to a Jeep Gladiator. Four-wheel drive, four-door, hardtop convertibles, your 3.6 liter V6, eight-speed automatic transmissions. And they both start off, uh, asking price right now is $45,000. So make sure to tell them I sent you. Come check it out. And uh, stay tuned for the next video. I also forgot to mention that this month is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so I'm going to be raising money for breast cancer awareness and try to donate it to a foundation in my area. So all you have to do is comment down below that you would want a shirt. The shirts are $20 a piece. I will, all the proceeds I make off them are going straight to the Breast Cancer Awareness Foundation. All you have to do is comment down below that you want a shirt and then if not you can also email me i'll put my email in this video so that you can see it and my email down below send me an email and i'll send you whatever shirts you need